Hi, Karen Birchill here, and this is an art journal tutorial. Actually, it's a tag for the Legacy Challenge, um, prompt number five, what day were you born? So here I have a quote, because I've decided on the one side on the, I had a, attached a jelly print, and I was always going to put a quote that's somehow related to the uh, prompt of the day. So you can see the tag there. Um, it has orange and <coughs> red and black. And I'm playing with the colors and I'm using um, several of my sprays, some of my homemade Wilton sprays that I showed you a video how to do, as well as my Martha Stewart. So I've got it sprayed and I'm just spraying some of the colors onto the paper towel to add more color because I'm thinking I'm going to use the paper towel on the other side. It's taking a long time to dry and I just decide that because I'm planning to do some stenciling I'm going to use some of the paper towels that I have. I always use the paper towels or uh, coffee filters to sop up or use up extra paint and so I have a wide array of colors. So here I am just ripping up some yellows and burnt orange and red and I'm going to use Mod Podge to adhere to the other side of the tag. So we have the jelly print on the one side and this side we are going to put the answer to the prompt. So I'm going to do with paper towel. And Now this, whether even if you put the whole sheet on without ripping it up and getting that effect, it is a beautiful easy technique to get a wide array of colors and some wonderful, wonderful texture. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do for a background. And it uses up all those paints and paper towels that you're using. So I'm just layering it on here, some of the burnt orange and the reds. Uh, I think most of these paper towels were made when I was making my Wilton uh, sprays. With the paper towels be sure to pull apart the two plies. Usually you can use both sides. Um, when I put paint or spray on it I usually soak it down and crumple it up into a ball so that the color leaks through the entire part of the, part of the paper towel. So I'm just drawing this and you know making sure that it's all staying in place. I'm trying to cut it here but it's still a little damp around the edges so it's causing some grief um, for me. So you just go back and, and what's not adhered add a little bit more Mod Podge, dry it, you know cut it a little closer. So you can see all the beautiful colors that you have on this tag. So you can see the jelly print more clearly here on the other side of the tag. And I'm not sure if that jelly print was made on deli paper or on um, pages from a Reader's Digest. Just touching up a little bit of areas that aren't quite sticking down and patching up holes. And again you get that layer and that texture and that's just wonderful. Since I'm born in October that's why I chose this jelly print and um, collage of colors here. And you can see that texture the bumps do not disappear and I just love it. So I printed out onto, it's a paper a little bit thicker, probably twice as thick as um, regular copy paper and I am spraying my Lindy Starburst Steampunk Sepia on there. I want it to meld with the background. I, I tend to color my letters there so I have my birth date. 
and um, and year, and I'm spraying it. <coughs> I spaced the letters of October far apart. I'm just spraying it with some Glit Spritz, the Blazing Sun, to get a little bit more goldy color. The thing to watch for with with the Glit Spritz and the Starburst, they have this wonderful shimmer. But if you go over it with Mod Podge, it does lessen it. So back to the October, I, I spaced the letters apart. So I'm off camera. I'm going to cut them apart once this is dry, and I'm going to be putting it up and down. So I just used this folk art stencil and I collaged some leaves on this using the blending tool. Right, Ranger blending tool and this is the first time I used that tool with acrylic paint to stencil and to um, get the edges which you can't see I'm off camera sorry um, with it and I really liked how this worked and I will be using this again it was incredibly easy and way more effective I think than trying to um, use a stamp pad and acrylic paint unlike some of the stamp pads when dry is permanent the distress ink pads are not permanent so if you are putting Mod Podge later or something they would spread so um, and it didn't make my foam um, hard I've kind of pounced it all out um, so I will definitely be using that again to edge my products so I'm doing both sides the jelly print side and that and you know so that the edges are all dark and I'm going to use Mod Podge and you can see I've got October lined up going up and down and I'm going to kind of um, overlap a little bit and since I'm adhering this with Mod Podge it needs to be um, something that isn't going to um, reactivate. So with the Legacy Journal, this is on the website um, Art Journaling for Beginners. Um, if you're interested in it, you can join that channel and the blog. Um, it, there's 101 prompts and it's all about um, your personal history and leaving this as a legacy for your children or other family members. So again I'm drawing it. I, I seem to have spent a long part of this process drawing this very simple tag once I have the ideas. Just going in now that I've placed the um, all the letters and numbers and dates, I'm finding this corner needs a little something, so I'm putting a little bit more black ink, and I'm just I wish I would have put more on this for this top leaf, so I'm going over it and doing that now. So even when you have a plan, sometimes it doesn't work, and I'm liking that a little bit more with reference to where everything happened. Just putting a little bit more dark around the edges. Off camera I am adding a some black craft paint and it's just the cheap dollar dollar store variety and using a liner print pen I am going over the letters just to make them pop a little bit more. I find after they print and you've put wet medium on them they tend to fade and um, I like it bold.
and sometimes if, if it's wide enough as it is here I find it easier to do with a liner pan or liner brush as opposed to a pit pan um, but you can use either to do it or leave it as it was if that's your wish too I do thin the craft paint a little bit to the consistency of um, cream these liner brushes you need to clean the paint the acrylic paint out very quickly and even sometimes between when you've been if you're doing a lot of line work I'm really liking how this turned out. Um, I'm using my, it looks like my gel pan, dollar store gel pan, to outline the letters and numbers on this tag. You could go with a water brush now and go around that and it would smear it a bit. So now I'm adhering the, um, the, fray, the quote on the other side. And off camera, I did not like the color. It was too orangey, so I sprayed it with my Lindy Starburst Autumn Maple Crism, Crimson and dried it. And I'm just adhering it with more Mod Podge. I like this rich red color. And the quote says, I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. And that came from um, Lucy Mom Montgomery and Anne of Green Gables. So now that it's dry, I'm using my Stabilo All Pencil. And I'm just outlining it with that quickly. You can use a watercolor pencil you can use a gel pen and then go over it with a, afterwards with a water pen. You don't have to buy this Debilo All Pencil. making it pop a little bit around the edge just going over it with a brush that I'm just dipping in water that I've sprayed onto my craft mat. I have had water pens. I prefer to use regular pens. So there's the Autumn Maple Crimson. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. And if you're not familiar with the Starburst, Lindy Starburst, they are two-tone. So because I lost some of the shimmer, I'm trying to put it back and I'm spraying the tag on top of a paper towel so I catch all that lusciousness for a future project because I want some of that glimmer and shine and sparkle. So there we go. There's the tag and the other side. I'm just going to grab my pit pan and I'm going over the letters of the quote and if it stops working yeah, I just scribble onto the piece of paper and that's what you see me doing there. I could have done it with my liner brush as well but this one was a little bit smaller and a little bit um, not as thick, thinner. And I'm going to be out using the pit pen to kind of outline around the edges. Kind of a dash, dot, 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 dash, dot, dot, dot. Just to add a little bit of a finishing touch. The background is pretty busy, but um, I'm finding with the quotes it blends in. I don't want the background to be there, but
Just adding some broken lines on the other side. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and then you won't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you.